A very good morning to you. Welcome to our morning devotion today. I'm very glad to be taking us through today's morning devotion. My name is Esther Mazala and I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much for clicking. Today we are going to be touching on um, the book of Proverbs chapter 8. And I love this verse from verse 32 to 36. And it says, Now then, my children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise. Do not disregard it. Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. For those who find me, find life and receive favor from the Lord. Verse that 6 says, But those who fail to find me harm themselves. All who hate me love death. God bless his word this morning. And um, as I read this verse and uh, as I meditated on this verse, it got me thinking about the waiting season in the life of a human being in the life of a believer, in the life of someone who trusts in the faith or has his faith or her faith in the Lord. And sometimes we make prayers to the Lord. Sometimes we go to the Lord and we have requests. Sometimes we have desires that we bring to him. But most of the times we are not patient enough to wait on him. Many a times we go to the Lord even with our own answers in our head sometimes. Because the Bible says, Now then, my children, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my way and listen to my instruction and those who do not disregard it. And there is the aspect of listening to God's instruction. And when you listen to God's instruction, the only way to show that you have actually listened to his instruction is by obeying obeying his command or obeying that which he may have commanded you to do or he may have com instructed you to do and even as you do so as you listen to the lord the bible says watching daily at my doors waiting at my doorways and today i would just love to ask you as you as you as you meditate on god's word today or even as you go about your day that you may meditate on this word are you really waiting on the lord are you really watching daily at his doors? Are you really waiting at his doorway? For those who find the Lord, they find life, the Bible says, and they receive favor from the Lord. So if you're asking yourself then, how God can I find favor before you? How God can this request of mine find favor before you? How can I find all these things that I desire, Lord, in my life and the bible says if you find god you will find life and then it concludes by saying if you fail to find the lord you harm yourself and all who hate me or those who hate the lord they love death and i believe that it is our desire all of us that we may experience life and life in its fullness and I love how the Bible says that when you seek the Lord, when you stay at the doorway, and as you stay on the door path, as you wait on him, he is faithful enough to give, to, to, to reveal himself to you. And when you find the Lord, you will find life. So today, I would just love to encourage you. If there's something that you're waiting on the Lord for, please don't give up. Please don't, 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 don't just, don't give up. Keep the resilience, keep the push, keep going, keep trusting in the Lord. Even in that season, keep trusting in the Lord. Just ensure that you are keen enough to know his instruction, to know his voice. Because then again, you cannot know his instruction if you do not know his voice, if you do not know the Lord. So it is also a call unto all of us that we may continue seeking the face of the Lord. We may continue finding him so that we can be able to have all these other things that we desire in our lives. Let's believe and pray even as we trust in the Lord for this word. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. Thank you because of your word that you have given us, O Heavenly Father. Thank you for my viewer. 
and for my listener, O oh God, wherever they are. Heavenly Father, I, I pray, O oh God, that you may bless them, O oh King of Kings. Thank you for the word that you have brought to us today. The Lord, blessed are those who listen to you. Blessed are those who listen to you and who wait on you, O King of Glory. May we be faithful enough to wait on you. May we not give up before you even show up. May we, may we not give up between the race, O King of Glory. May we keep pushing, O God, because he who finds you, Lord, finds life. Heavenly Father, we desire to enjoy life here on earth and even, in, even in, in eternity that we may enjoy all the good things that are pertain to you, that are pertain to your, your, your kingdom, O oh Heavenly Father. How I pray, Heavenly Father, that we shall be obedient to your instruction. We shall listen to you and we shall wait on you and we shall always seek your guidance, O oh Heavenly Father. We surrender our lives to you. We surrender our families to you. Surrender our jobs to you. Surrender our giftings to you. We surrender the nation. We surrender the church all oh, before you, O oh King of glory, that we may continue seeking you, that we may continue desiring to find you oh god because when we find you we will find life and we will find everything else that we desire in this life father lord we thank you oh heavenly father bless each and every one of us bless my viewer any need that they have oh heavenly father may you meet our needs oh king of glory may you help us oh heavenly father that we may trust in you oh heavenly father and that even as we trust in you we shall not give up but we shall keep pushing and we shall keep trusting because even jesus himself showed us the example of having patience and having trust the lord he still trusted in you though he was god himself though he was god in full and he was still man in full he still trusted in you and he still sought you oh god and he still waited on you and he still trusted you god may we follow the example that christ showed us father lord we thank you and we honor you and it is in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray believing and trusting in christ holy name amen thank you so much for watching i would just love to invite you to our services we usually have two services every sunday from 7.30 a.m. we have our first service and our second service that starts at 9.30 a.m. You're welcome. Our church is located in alongside Matenke Road, opposite Agakan Hospital, Karibu Sana. See you next time.